Help support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. And with Blueberry, the community that gives creators the power to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get a 30-day free trial by using promo code BLUEBERRY004. All right, so I want to welcome uh, Eli Harris, the CEO of EchoFlow. And uh, Eric, EchoFlow was founded in 2017, and you can tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on here. So welcome to our coverage here of CES. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so my name is Eli Harris. I am the co-founder of EchoFlow here. Uh, so I actually used to work at DJI, the drone company out of awesome. Shenzhen. And I've been seven years full-time in China. And myself and two other engineers from DJI came out to build EchoFlow. Uh, and our, the inception of this company was, can we build a battery product that can outcompete the Honda gas generator. Because uh, we see the whole world moving from fuel combustion to electric. Of course. That's uh, just a natural extension of the technology. Um, so in the past three years, we've raised about $15 million, built a team to 60 employees. We've shipped about 50,000 products, uh, and we're going toe-to-toe with Honda. So when you say replace the a Honda generator, ha- there's got to be some defined limits. Oh, yeah. Abs- I mean, this is a battery, right? Yeah, this, it's this, a battery, yeah. right. So uh, this has 1,300 watt hour capacity and a 1600 watt inverter. So so when this is at full charge, when you're looking at a full tank of gas on a Honda 2000 generator, you can power the same equipment for the same amount of time. Uh, But of course you can dump more gas in a generator. Right, right, right. And this product you have to recharge. That's right. But you can daisy chain multiple together, um, or you can have solar panels hooked up and be pumping energy in as you're using it. Yeah, so you know, in Hawaii I have uh, 36 panels on my house. Yeah. So I'm pretty much neutral energy except when I, we get the second EV and then we we're using more energy than we're we're collecting from the sun but it's pretty amazing that you can almost be zero you know depending on where you live in the country and how how much value there is in solar power these days so when you're charging this though off the grid what is the charge time on this uh, less than two hours really so our most valuable IP we have as a company is around our bi-directional inverter Okay. So we actually recharge this battery through the inverter I got you. at 1,200 watts. So you can recharge this from zero to 100 in less than two hours. That's amazing. That really, really is. Yeah. So you can actually, this could actually set in the house as well in that emergency instead of having to, you know, that yeah. two, three hour outage that you may have with a power outage. You set this and power a lot of your, your components. Yeah, so actually our, our largest market is home backup power. And we've done almost $10 million in sales this year on Home Shopping Network. Interesting. And the whole segment is, what are you going to do in the next hurricane? Uh, the fires in California. Yep. Because um, when you're in a pinch, I mean, this can, this can run all your critical devices. Sure. From a refrigerator to a CPAP machine uh, to anything you need to stay connected, Wi-Fi routers, phones, computers. Uh, so it just keeps you on the grid. You know, see, uh, refrigerators, though, the biggest surge is when they kick on, the, when the compressor kicks on yep. and goes into a cycle. So how does this handle a, that surge with a refrigerator this has a 3300 watt surge which can handle any household refrigerator that's amazing now yeah. what would it what it would an average how long could you run an average refrigerator on this so a- anything that requires thermal management yeah that uses a lot of energy a lot of power a lot of power right uh so it really depends on the size of a fridge yep um i mean a standard household fridge you're looking at maybe a day a day and a half wow but oftentimes it's all you need before pg a day and a half is, on we'll this kick it back on yeah so that's telling me that if you're not going to run the refrigerator, keep the refrigerator closed because you're usually good for two or three days on that. If you, you know, just not get in the refrigerator a lot, you, get, you keep the door closed, you could run laptops, lights, yep. a whole, whole – and I see you've got on the back of this, really? you've got six, six plug-ins. Yep. And then you got some over here too. So what is this? Is, this is for the, recharge. This here. is for recharge yep. on this side. And then you got a power management panel on the front yep. too, right? But, but just about can we show that to yeah. so um, just about anything you can put in your hand? Yeah, um, you can run on this machine. Uh, power tools—they're all trickle charged now. Nothing's corded. Yep. Um, so you've got USB. You got USB C. And, and that will there tell you that will tell you how much battery life you have left in this product here, yep. and based on what you're running, how many hours of runtime you have how left. How much you have left. And what's really cool is this is also a UPS uh, uninterruptible power supply. Okay. So we're seeing a lot of folks actually hook it up to their really critical uh, data servers or CPAP machines, yep. or even just into their refrigerator. So you plug from the wall into this device, and then from this into your critical device. So when the power goes out, this will automatically kick on. Oh, that's interesting. So, so you won't have any lapse in power. 
So UPS, as I'm familiar with their price range, what is this compared to a normal UPS price range, though? What, what is the retail on this? So this will retail at about $1,200. Uh, we have a few different versions, so okay. uh, give or take a little lower, a little more. But considerably um, more than a normal UPS, but at the same time, a UPS doesn't have the versatility that no. this will have. I mean, th this thing can even charge your Tesla an extra three miles. Wow. So if you're have an electric vehicle and you're out and I mean most people only attempt to drive when you yeah, think yeah. you can almost make it there <laughs> you're not going to try to drive have you ever yeah. have you actually ever done that with a Tesla drove it an extra three miles with the battery or is that oh yeah oh yeah really yeah and some of those smaller things like the like a uh, what, Nissan Leaf you can go a little further right? sure um, so I mean you, you, really, you only try to make the drive if you think you can make it that's right so it's pretty oh, cool that's yeah. interesting so this is one product. Do you have, multi, do you have other stages of product as well, or is this just the only product you're pr currently producing? Uh, this is our latest and greatest. Latest um, and greatest. I mean, uh, we, we are a startup. We're three and a half years old, right? Sure. We had limited capital. We yep. had raising money, building yep. a team. So we started with some smaller products uh, with the whole mission to build this Delta product and go beyond that. So um, coming from DGI, was your idea coming out of DGI to have a battery pack in the back, in the to recharge the drones, or what was your initial yeah, thought so, process? So I worked on our enterprise products, so drones in agriculture, search and rescue. And if you're a hobbyist flying a drone for 20 minutes, yeah. great, you have a good time. That's right. But if you're trying to map a farm, yep. or if you're trying to look for a missing person sure. in a body of water and an avalanche, you I mean, cycle, cycle, cycle. You're just run through batteries. Yeah. Uh, so one is, I, so I worked really closely with the battery engineers at DJI, and I actually left with the director of battery R&D to start this company. Um, but the, I mean, we just couldn't believe that, uh, I think I was in 16 countries in the two and a half years I was there. I was working in a variety of industries, and everybody's running gas generators. Right. And, I mean, they, you need gas. They emit carbon monoxide. You can't run them indoors. Yep. They're loud. Yep. Uh, so I went to them and said, can we build a product that can effectively replace that? And the, the goal was to keep drone batteries, drones in the air. And another thing, too, is when I, when I have a, I've had a generator before, and unless you're actively maintaining it, and putting like stay bill in the gas to make sure the gas doesn't get funky. And if that generator sits there for a year and you haven't run it, you're done. That you may not, it may not start. Yeah. You know, if you haven't done that proper maintenance, where this, you know that you're going to have the power available all the time. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and our, our battery management system is very sophisticated. So you could leave this on the shelf in yep. your garage for a year. And you'll lose less than 1% of charge. That's pretty yeah. incredible because, you know, most batteries, you stick them on a concrete floor and they're, they're dead. You know, they're yeah. done. But you can have this on a shelf and it'll be okay. Yeah. So we, we found that most people are actually buying it for emergency backup power. Yeah. But then they find they're taking a tailgating or camping right, or whatever. Right, right, yeah. right, right. So I, I think that once this product's in people's hands and you can bring power anywhere and you don't need gas and awesome. it's quiet. So why don't you tell me the website where people can find it? Again, the price point, is it available now for sale? It's available now for sale. Uh, it's, we're selling directly on our website, www.ecoflow.com, E-C-O-F-L-O-W. Ecoflow.com. Um, and we have a range of products from uh, about 100 bucks up to 1300 with the lace and grace. New, with the new lace in this. Yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool. Yeah. And uh, definitely a lot less noisier than a Honda generator. It's silent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is for sure. Yeah. No noise. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's good. And, you know, I think most, you know, if you're in a disaster situation, though, let's be frank, you're going to be in bigger, have a, you're going to have as much trouble getting gas as anything else. If, if you know, when, if, you're, if you're running a generator for two or three days and you need more, you're going to have problems getting gas. So People get killed over it. Right. L literally. Oh, I know. Yeah. I lived, in a, I lived in Guam, and I had 36 days without electricity because of a typhoon that came through. So, yeah, people were yeah. fighting over ice. I and, completely understand. And we do manufacture and sell our own solar panels, but the solar input is universal. Yep. So if you have your own setup on yep. your roof, you can hook up any set of solar panels to this product. But a normal sol couple of solar panels will take a while to, ch to charge this, right? Uh, it takes, so we have a 110-watt panel. Okay. Uh, it'll take about four to six hours. Change That's two, actually change not two bad, together. too. Yeah. yeah. All right, awesome. All right, hey, thank cool. you so much for coming on. And, uh, again, EcoFlow is the place to go. And uh, pick yourself up a Honda generator that's not a Honda generator. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank Appreciate you very it. much. <laughs>